Post game from the UW Milwaukee Panther Arena downtown with head coach Kyle Reckless following tonight's 80 to 58 loss to Wright State. Coach, you held a high flying Wright State offense to just 31 points in the first half and had to feel pretty good about it going into the locker room 31 26 and the second half was a different story. Well, I thought we moved really well in the first half and we had some really good leadership and Jaleesa and Sydney Howard our two point guards they were really trying to keep our team focused and um, really gave a lot of emotion out on the court in that first half and then we told them at halftime it was kind of the same story when they played against Detroit um, the Detroit was ahead at half and it was a very close game and um, and then they just turned the Jets on and they pick up the pressure and um, they start scoring a little bit more off their uh, you know steals and you know Mingo tries to take a little bit more over in the second half. I think uh, Coach Bradbury must get on her, get on her at halftime a little bit to get her fired up. But um, you know they came out and Rice State did a great job in the second half, and it's something that we can really learn from is to how to play a team that is as aggressive as Rice State is. Uh, so like a game plan for Taylor Mingo, obviously the leading scorer in the league, but then you end up with uh, Abby Jump scoring a career-high 15 points in just 14 minutes, all, almost all on threes. Well, and she's a really good shooter. Um, I thought we let her get going a little too early. We had to switch to zone um, because we weren't understanding some of the switches in our offense. And um, and when we went to zone, she hit a couple ones, which got her feeling a little bit confident. Uh, then we had some defensive breakdowns. We missed some opportunities where we know, knew the play as a team. Um, it was kind of always the after the fact of, oh, I remember working on that type thing. So um, it's one of those things you know it's we get another opportunity to play them that's why I love uh, our conference is you always get to play everybody twice um, and so I think that we'll be able to make some adjustments and put ourselves in a, a better position. Uh, speaking of your team Jaleesa Armstrong very strong first half 17 points uh, tighter career high with five rebounds and then Ashley Green another double double with 15 and 12 uh, Linder in double figures with 16. Well I thought you know Jaleesa set the tone um, she was getting to the rim she was turning the corner I thought she looked really explosive out there um, I thought in the second half they made quite a few adjustments where we needed to kick it out a little bit more and she was you know she's a little smaller of a guard and she was um, they were staying in front of her a little bit better so um, and then Ashley I mean Ashley's Ashley I mean she she always brings it every night and um, I know she was frustrated that she only went two for four from the free throw line that's she just told me so um, other than that I thought she played a very complete game and Jenny was really on and shoot around and um, in our shoot around earlier today um, from the three-point line so I know that um, that's something that she's gonna really focus on probably before the Green Bay game is really getting in and locking that three into place so that um, she can knock down those shots because we got to hit some threes if we're gonna beat a, an athletic team like a Wright State or you know even a UIC in our league um, we've got to be able to knock down the shot from outside that's a final question for you then. You mentioned the Green Bay game. Uh, today's Wednesday, that game's Saturday. You know, how do you prepare your team? Always that tough trip up to the Crest Center. Yeah, well, and Green Bay is off um, for this set of games. So they, they get an extra day to prepare for us, which um, or extra, actually two days or three days to prepare for us. So um, that puts us in a, in a little bit of a disadvantage right off the bat. So we need to get rested. Um, that's number one. So I think tomorrow we'll go a little bit light, you know, get some shots up and stuff. And um, it's going to come down to us. You know, Green Bay plays very solid. Um, they don't do anything that's like super flashy. They just play really, really solid, and they're very, very good at it. Um, they have played a very tough schedule this year um, that has put them in a position where they're ready to compete in our conference and so um, we've got to come ready you know ready to battle I mean for, and it's got to be for 40 minutes it can't be for a half um, so this will be another really great test for us you know playing the top two teams in our league right off the bat um, and early in conference gives us an opportunity to to really see where we're at in the league. Well, your team beat them last year up there at the Crest Center so they know what it takes so thanks for your time today. Thank you.